what's your view of the double opt-in versus the single opt-in? It's a good question. Um, I think it, to a certain degree it depends on what kind of industry or sector you're in. The thing to bear in mind is um, double opt-in is designed really to protect the email system providers from people abusing their system. So as an email service provider, if people start using your email system to spam lots of people, then as an email service provider, you're, you, you get a bad reputation. I don't mean just ma, ma, you know word of mouth. I mean it, the email systems like Gmail, etc., start bouncing your uh, your emails and they can't get delivered for all of your customers, not just that bad one. So um, one bad egg, as it were, really does spoil things for everyone else. So double opt-in really is designed for email system providers to make sure that they don't have bad eggs. Now I'm assuming everyone on this call is not a bad egg. You know, everyone listening is not going to spam their subscribers. Um, so very often you find that um, if you just do single opt-in, it actually works better. You get more subscribers. Um, double opt-in, some people say, oh, yeah, because they've had to jump a hurdle, you get better subscribers. But the thing to bear in mind is with single opt-in, you get those better subscribers anyway because they, you know, they didn't know they were going to get a second thing. Nobody goes, oh, it's only single opt-in. I'm not going to opt-in. I wanted to be double opt-in just to jump over that hurdle. So you will get more subscribers with single opt-in. They'll be the same subscribers you get with double opt-in plus a few more. Um, and, you know, I... The um, some of the email system providers will show you tests where they have seen better email deliverability and opens and clicks from double opt-in lists with single opt-in lists, but that's because they've looked system-wide and the people who tend to use single opt-in, if you are a spammer, you're just going to use a single opt-in list. Um, that means the, the results from system-wide on an email system provider are biased and not the results you would get. The only thing you need to do is worry about your own emails. If I use double opt-in, would I get more engagement, people opening them more and clicking more? And the answer usually is no. The only task I've ever seen where people have actually tested themselves, um, they got the same, the same results from single and double opt-in. Now, you may have seen some different results, so that, that's fine, but I just go with single opt-in. I've never had a problem with it. 